The procedure for bushing plates, front back plates in the clock movement by hand is very much similar to the other method other than you're saving yourself $2,000 on a bushing machine. First we have to start off by looking at the individual bushes and pivots to see what they are like, see how loose they are. We're going to look at the, the first wheel on the going side train of this session's clock. We're looking at that pivot there. And we can see it moving substantially left and right. All right, first thing we'll do, take the movement apart. Take the nuts off those pillars. There are different ways you can do this operation that I'm going to show you now. I'll be using a large pin vise, but you can also use um, an electric drill or a drill press or a cordless drill for that matter. The drill press is probably a better way to go because it will at least keep the drill bit while you while you were drilling will keep it in the right plane it won't move around left and right which is a possibility if you're using an electric drill right let's measure the We'll measure the pivot first to get the diameter of it. 1.78 mil. We write that down. One point seven eight mil. We'll see what size bush that requires. Do that we go to our box of bushes and read along here 1.78 51 1.70 52 is 1.80 so we'll we'll get a number 51 out and try that Okay, number 51. Is that bushing there? I'll actually put it on top of the box for a moment. And then we'll try to insert the pivot into it. And it catches just on the end, but won't go into it. So that's the size we're looking for. Rubber band back on the case so we don't drop all the bushes. Then we have a look and see what data we've got here for number 51. I'll drop that down. Number 51 bushing. Maximum hole diameter is 3.50 mil. Write that down. Right, that's the data we need so that we can work out what rim is to use to cut the hole. Put that aside. Now I'll mark with a pen 
but we know what which one we're doing we're going to rebush that hole there well we're going to put a bush in never had a bush in it's just been drilled out punched out in the factory that's the one that we're looking at there that little black mark on there felt tip pen helps us remember which hole we're working on all right over our tool kit 3.5 mil 3.47 is the last one we'll use so we'll go down two sizes that should be 2.47 yes it is now we'll get our pin vise may not look like a pin vise but it is it's a seriously big one because the small ones don't have a mouth opening wide enough to be able to do this Right now, put our reamer into the hole, and same as when we're broaching out the bush later on, we have to keep our reamer perpendicular to the plate at all times in all directions. So we line it up, get it square, and then start reaming slowly. It's a long, slow process. You can't push it too fast. Keep sufficient pressure on it to see a little bit of swarf being cut out. Cut it back in again. Just spin it round slowly. It is actually cutting in. It doesn't seem to be making much movement, but it is. Much progress. Keep turning it. We've reached the end of the first reamer. We'll remove that. Put in the 2.97 mil. Tighten it down. Insert the rim into the hole again. And once again, start spinning the pin vise. Little bit of forward pressure, a case of making haste slowly. Move the swarf from there, the rim are back in again, keeping it perpendicular to the plate, continue to turn the pin vise in your hand. Rather time consuming work, but this is the way you do it if you haven't got a bushing machine. I'll do a little bit of this offline because it's taking a fair bit of time. Then I'll be back. Down on the 3.47 mil reamer now, we're getting close. Keep turning it round slowly. You can feel it cutting into the material. Get 
Here we go. It's gone through. Right. Feeling that now. On both sides, we've got a burr. So we'll run the chamfer, little chamfer tool over it and remove that burr. That's something that doesn't come up when we're using the bushing tool. Change the reamer. That's got him. Once again, align it 90 degrees, spin it half a dozen turns is about all it takes on the on bottom. Same on the top. You don't want to cut the material out, you're just removing the burr. Yes, that feels nice and smooth now. Okay. Still our swath that we've cut out of the out of the movement. Right, I've got our plate fixed to the top of a vise and that just holds it securely there. You'll notice we're going to drive the, the bushing in from the outside of the plate. It's normally done from the inside of the plate. But because we want the bushing to be flat inside the plate, we'll have to push it in this side. And then we'll check it once we've done that and if it's a little bit proud on the other side, we'll bring it down with a file. little taps first get it seated squarely then we can hammer it home do the clamp Here's the new bushing. You'll notice it's pretty proud on the outside. So because I've got rubber here, I'll try to tap that down with the hammer, which may save us having to file the inside there. Yep. Lovely, that's brought it out nicely. There's our new bushing. Now we're going to start broaching. 